Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to part 16 of this build series and we are nearly there. So what we're going to do is just get a little bit of painting um, painting there. I made the mistake of actually thinning down the white, okay, so we won't do that today. Um, So I'm just putting some black in as well because we need to paint the tail wheel. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna we're gonna paint the tail wheel box and the tail wheel itself. Okay, so we'll get that. Okay, so Just paint the inside of that. Well, that's the Tail wheel box all done. Just get the uh, now we can actually do the tail wheel. I'm just going to paint the whole thing in black. Okay, the tail the tail wheel. I'm not going to even bother with uh, thinking about doing the I'm not even going to think about painting it in in metallic. I'll just get it all done in the in the same colour. Right, there we go. That's all done. Okay, so I'll get rid of my brush in there, and I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. Right, well, um, this bit came off. Okay during the week uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick it back in so we're going to glue so what we're going to what i'm going to do as long as i'm careful with it i'm just going to drill a hole Just going to drill the hole. There we go. All right.
Now, I'm going to see if that will go in. I'm just going to try and make that a bit bigger. All right. Because what we need to, to do, I'm trying to remedy the situation, so now we're going to try and get I'm going to try and snip. We're going to try and get I'm going to get some glue in there Just put a bit. I'll just put a bit in there so just cement it in. Okay, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that will stay this time. Okay. What I'm also going to do now is I'm going to drill. Just making sure that these are good. Because we need to go and fit on the top aerials. Okay. So These I've uh, dried already, I've pre-painted these. <coughs> so, get that off there. Okay, so as you can see, there's, a, there's four of these, okay. I, and I've already pre-painted them as well, so they're all good to go on. And they sort of go in there. Like so. Okay, so that is... I'll just put, put a bit of glue in there just so... Mm 
from that one. Sure, that one that's, that's actually a bit too big, so. That one's a bit too big, I think, so. I think what we'll do is we'll just. Okay, so there we go, that's two in. Let's get the other two in, shall we? Seems to be doing all right. Last piece, last piece, last piece goes in there. There we go, right. Okay guys, well what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and um touch up the paintwork a little bit. Okay, um We're gonna try and touch up the paintwork just a tiny bit. Especially on the bits where Uh, thin down the paint. So yeah, we're just going to. Uh, so I'm just going to. Just making sure that they they will still come out.
So we'll get this stuff and then we'll get the cockpit canopy in. This bit needs to be painted up as well. There we go. And I think what we ought to do is to paint the Paint that, that bit of the Bombay where we didn't really where the where the spray paint missed. So that's what we're doing there. So I'm just uh, touching up that those parts where just touching up those parts where it didn't where we failed to um, paint it with the uh, spray paint. So like there, for example. And there's also a bit here where I think I've done it. Right. Now, what say we get the side aerials in? No, no, hang on. No, we'll get the cockpit canopy on. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, we're going to get the cockpit uh, canopy on now. And uh, so so this is the part that we as you can see there's two there's two there so they've given us a spare one so let's just take the one And then what we can do is I'll just go get get me get my file out. So I should have, I should have got some of these up before I started. So all right, there we go. I'll well, just. We can now put that on there like so that fits perfectly that fits perfectly right so I think what we are going to do is we'll just 
do now is just do that and then all we got to do is to just just leave that to dry okay guys we're gonna get the tail wheel on and all we got to do now is to try and get get this on okay and hope it actually goes in okay so what we're going to do as you can see I'm, I'm using the box as a support okay so we'll, we'll just get them out at the way for the minute and, we'll, and we can get all the bits and pieces off and let's so what let's get the uh, let's get the tail wheel off it as well and then we can Now it's a question of I think this I think the actual tailwheel box goes on goes in first so let's see if it does a minute. There's a Okay, there's There's obviously it's obviously a foot issue there somewhere. Should there some up? Oh, do you know what? I was just going to cut these. I'll cut the uh, little bits off. And then hopefully we can just do it that way. We'll just do it this way, I think. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, it might stick. Right, so I'll get my tweezers out for a minute, so I'll be back in a bit. 
Okay, guys, we're going to just get the tail wheel in first, and then we'll we'll use that as a support for the uh, for the tail wheel box. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Just put a bit of glue on there, and then that goes in. Like so. And then whatever's there can just you be glued in. And it's Oh, it's sticking to me fingers. Come on, you will stick like glue. Right. That's in, I think. <laughs> Now let's see if we can try and get the but we can just use the tail wheel as a support. Okay. So all we've got to do now is to um, get the side aerials on, and then that will be the build, the build complete. Okay. Well, while the uh, tail wheel box and tail wheel are actually uh, drying, uh, the glue is drying on those. Um, well, I thought I'd come and show you these um, because these are. Real colour markers from AK, and um, I've forgotten the uh, name of the, the name of the subs subscriber who um, pointed these out to me. So um, thanks, thanks a lot for that. Okay, I got these uh, from Jadler Models. They cost me about so sixty five quid as well. So um, okay, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably just use use these for the camouflage. Um, on different aircraft okay so I'll get the I'll get I'll get I'll open them up anyway so because I, I haven't seen them okay they came in the post just recently um, they came in the post just recently Um, 
so because I've got some I've got some other paint pens as well so I'm gonna I'm starting to make a collection of them so I'll just put that over there for a minute I'll put that in the, in the bin a bit later now as I say I've not seen these so I don't know how you get I don't know how you get these open I don't know how do you get these open, I think. Ah, oh, there we go, right. And wow. Um, because what I really want is a dark green colour. What I really want is a dark green colour because I want to do. That's an olive green anyway, so. That's an olive green, okay, so that looks as if it might be the same sort of colour as the number, number humble number 30. Let's see what it's like on the, yeah, it, that's the tip anyway, so, like I say, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, does this come out? Does this come out? I think it does. Yeah, that comes out if I just get there. And there's more there. Um, and there's more underneath. So. Um, Russia, uh, Russian cockpit turquoise as well. So you've got. you got rubber black there. So you've got rubber black. So I could probably use that for the, for the uh, wheels. And yellow as well. I might just point. I might just pop some of that on for the propellers. Um, got a wood base there as well. Um, aluminium. As you and um, as you've already seen, I've got I've got the olive green as well. So that looks as if it could be a similar colour to the number thirty on board number thirty. So, so yeah, so that when I come to do the camouflage, which will more likely to be in the next video, I'm going to, I'll use some of these, I think. So yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm glad I've got these now, so I think that's £65 well spent. Um... You've also got the US interior. You've got yourself a little chart here as well. So, um, and you've got gunmetal there as well. This is zero three two RCM zero three two gunmetal. So again, I might use that on some of the smaller parts. And. Um, Dunkle, Dunkle Gill, which I think is sort of a greyish yellow, I think, I might be wrong, <laughs> okay, but, um, so there you go, that's the chart, and that is the real colour markers from AK, okay, all right, let's get back to the uh, uh, let's get back to the model. <clears throat> All we've got to do now is to just put the put the little side aerials in. Uh, there's sixteen of these, as you can see. That what the sixteen of those, and one has already come off. Okay, so 
Um, and these go into the holes that we've already um, re-drilled. Just putting that in. So we'll just use the. I'll just turn that a little bit towards the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Let's we'll just put the little tip on there. There, there's one on. Okay, so I'll just uh, I'll just nip over to the hyperlapse, and then we'll get the rest of these on. All right. Well guys that's it uh, for this uh, video um, and that's it for the main part of the build um, I have as you can see I've got the side aerials on I've got the top aerials on as well done a little bit of touching up underneath but uh, what can we do but anyway there you go that's the that's the side part that's the main part of the build done now so um, basically all we've got to do now as far as that is, is concerned is to get the camouflage on and the decals and that is where I'll that's where I'll use those paint pens which I showed you earlier on okay so right let's get that out of the way okay let's get the get the Wellington out of the way now and reveal the next kit build <laughs> um, but this one has been really close and as the pole is as the pole is now closed I can reveal that the final vote is that the Heinkel HE HE 111P2 has eight votes and the Dornier DO 17Z also has eight votes. That's 50% each. So, what I'm going to do is I've, I feel like I feel like one of those TV talent show judges um, that has to make that has to make a an important decision as to who to send through to the next round of the competition. And unfortunately, that's me now because um, that's me now um, because I've now got to make the decision as to which one I build next. Okay, which kit I build next, and the kit that I've chosen is 
the Dornier Dio 17Z. Okay, it's been in my stash for quite a while. And um, so look out for an unboxing video coming soon. Um, right, which I think, uh, which will be next weekend, thereabouts. Okay, so that will be the next build, next kit build series. Okay, um, as far as paints are concerned, I, for this kit, I do have a uh, do have a German Luftwaffe paint set in in my in my I mean Sainsbury's bag there, which um, um, which I'll probably which I'll use at, at some point as well. So okay. Um, so, in the meantime, guys, thanks ever so much uh, for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, why don't you? Um, also, comment uh, and subscribe. It's free to subscribe. I'm now over 400 subscribers. Um, so, now, if we work to getting me towards 500, that would be two-thirds of the way to getting monetized. Um, okay, so, um, also share the video as well. Okay, so, thanks a lot. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. And I'll see you uh, for the final part of the Wellington build. See ya. Bye-bye.